What is up, guys? Let us go ahead and look at my five fake virtual stock accounts. Um, so I'm going to go ahead with each one of them and explain their strategies and explain, you know, how well um, the stock, the, the pick has done and, um, you know, for each of the picks and blah, blah, blah. And let's just jump right into it. Um, so my first uh, account is this one, Amura. Um, this one is up, uh, I, each account of these starts with a hundred thousand. So this accounts up nearly $60,000. So it's up 60%. Um, it's composed right now of these stocks. You can just kind of take a gander here. Uh, and the strategy here is, uh, that there really isn't a strategy. The strategy is just pick stocks as I see them. And if they are, look like they're really strong on some up days, you know, just jump in really quickly and don't think about it. And then just kind of hold on. Either I'll get a 5% or 6% or loss on it or 20% gain. So it's really simple. I don't even, I just look and think, hey, you know, NVIDIA is a lot of hype now. I think people are going to really want it. And I just buy in, you know. So um, like uh, NVIDIA here, I bought in at $102 and it's gotten me like 20K almost in profits here. Uh, and that's only on 228 shares, you know. Um, so what I'm, so the whole point here is like you know if you this whole point of this strategy is that if you just like hold to your gut and um you know employ a sound strategy you know just the idea of taking an eight percent loss or six percent loss you know somewhere around there or a 20 percent gain this is this is what you see you know now because this is a gut kind of a gut feeling strategy i kind of like just decide to keep holding on um, because I feel like, you know, my gut, these stocks are just going to keep going up forever. <laughs> so instead of taking 20% as profits, I, um, I just keep holding on on this strategy. Um, as you can see, I only have one loss and that's on WB and it's just $400. And the, 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 uh, the rest are just performing great. Now, I don't think this actually adds up to 60 K I think because I've made some profits here and there, uh, with other buys. But you know you can you guys can look up my account on Stockfuse. Just go to go to Stockfuse.com. You can look up my account or more. You can see all the trades I've made, and I'll show you all my other four accounts, and you can see all the trades I made. So let's look at the analytics here for this account, and then we'll jump to the next account. Um, like it, like I said, this this account there's there's no real strategy. The strategy is just like my gut feeling, right? Anyway, so let's look at the performance here. So performance of this account. Uh, I, oh, by the way, I created all these accounts on December 1st, you know, so a month before the new year. That was, it was my goal to, you know, just get better and better at stocks. Um, so I, I, I was like, you know what, I've, I've, I've absolutely had a ton of virtual accounts before, but I was like, here we go, fresh start, five new accounts, five new strategies. I'm going to make myself, uh, you know, the best stock broker I can be. So um anyway it started off you know this account started off not so great i was like okay my gut's not so awesome but uh you know with time from uh, december 1st till now this account's peaked at 66 percent 66 percent gain and now it's at a 60 percent gain you can see the s p average since i started has returned 10 percent i returned 60 percent and that's just because i'm employing i think a sound strategy uh, like uh, when I say strategy, what I meant is a sound set of rules, the 8% the cutting and holding on to the winners. Um, um, so, you know, the, really, just if you if you think about it, the point here is, uh, it, you know, it can be easy if you don't stress yourself out over it, actually, if you kind of step back and chill. Um, let's look at the next accounts, though. OK, let's not dwell too much. Next account is. Um, is Amura 2 so it's almost the same exact uh, almost the same exact name you can so you can look up all of these all right pause this so we're signing into the next account but I'll just take a moment here to um, uh, explain what this one does this one is a uh, buy low sell high account I on this one I try to you know find a stock that's kind of had a big sell-off or something and jump in it or a stock that I think is just low on its value or has been tr going down for a long time. And I think it's time for it to, uh, you know, push back up. Um, anyway, uh, so you can see, maybe you can see already these numbers are smaller. This account is just not nearly as good. 
this is the probably the best performance right here. Um, so, sorry, left for a second, I'm back. <clears throat> <clears throat> performance of uh, Aflac here stock is the only one that's uh, actually done like, you know, well enough. Apple's done okay. Um, but the point here is, th this is when you look at my other uh, my other profiles, you'll see this is one of the worst. Um, the only worst is just listening to a random website. Uh, so you know, don't listen to a random website and don't employ this strategy, and hopefully you'll do okay. Let's check out the performance. You'll see. Uh, originally, I did okay. You know, I I kind of came up to a what five percent, you know, nine percent gain here, and that was that was good compared to the uh, S and P five hundred. And then, um, you know, look, it's been kind of peaked out here for a long time, and I don't think it's going anywhere. So honestly, I would not recommend employing a buy low, sell high strategy. Uh, the next profile we go into, you're going to see the strategy you really should employ here. We'll go in there one second. Okay, here we go. We're on our uh, the best strategy I have. So far, um, this is Omura 3. This account is up 77%. At some point, this account was up 90%, you know, but it, uh, it took a big hit with the recent, uh, you know, the recent crappy days in the market. But that's okay. Uh, it's probably going to, you know, I, I foresee this account doing well over, you know, 100% gain. Uh, this account, so this account was at a 90% gain within like five months, right? Or, or six months, I guess. Uh, it depends on the account, maybe maybe six and a half months, a a 90% gain at some point. So, you know, doing a 100% gain in a year is insane. Doing a 20% gain in a year is good. Doing a 90% gain in six months is ridiculous. So this is the strategy I believe in now. Actually, I already believed in it, but I the way that I've employing, been employing it now um, on this account has been phenomenal, and this is the way I'm going to start doing it. Um Basically, it's not to filter only stocks that are doing um, great with their earnings. They have to be doing well with their earnings, but maybe not all the time great. But more importantly, stocks that are um, approaching new highs from a like you know a sound looking base, and, uh, and then you know jumping in. So you can see I made uh, nearly 16k on just a net with just 300 shares. I mean, okay, that's that's around twenty-five thousand dollars to jump in, but um, you know, this is a ridiculous gain here. I mean, come on, this this went from a this is like doubled its value, you know, from it's just insane. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, so this is the best account. This is the best the best thing I could imagine. Um, the only stock it's losing money on is NTES, which um, you know. Get, we need to give it some time. It's barely losing anything on it. Just uh, six hundred bucks here, uh, which is nothing for um, you know percentage-wise. Uh, out of forty-three thousand dollars on it, six hundred dollars is nothing. So um, you know we'll see what happens with it. Uh, I think uh, all these are going to continue going up. This account, by the way, I I usually take twenty percent gains unless the so this account's a little different. If the twenty percent gain happens within three weeks, I will not sell the stock. So stocks like WD, NVIDIA, um, IPGP, Google, and ANET, uh, and APO all had gains within like, you know, within like three weeks of um, over 20% at some point while I was in them. So they kind of fall into this category of holding on for a long time. Uh, Microsoft, I'm just I'm playing around with that one actually. So this this kind of doesn't really fall too much in the strategy. It's just something I wanted to just try, not with my own money, but it actually paid off quite quite well. So that's six thousand out of that. Um, let's look at the uh, performance here. We'll see the performance relative to the S and P. So here the gain was ninety percent up here. The performance relative to the S and P five hundred is just insanely insane. Um, if you model this in your real account, you will be rich within, I mean, if you start with like 10,000, you'll be, you'll be rich within like 10 years, you know, uh, if you start with a hundred K then, you know, clearly you'd have made 90 K already or 77 K already. Um, anyway, let's move on to the next account. So I've just logged into my next account. It's Amura 4. 
this account is up 43k, um, 43%. Now this account was actually up, I think, um, maybe 60% as well. Let's see here at some point. Yeah, 58% as at one point. This account, I try to only make the best picks. So although it's paying off, right? You know, you can see these are good numbers here. Um, I try to only to make the best best picks. Um, and the problem though that I had with this account is I didn't manage it at some points and got a little lazy. So normally I would have sold out of a few of these positions and taken the gain. It should be, you know, I, I, I basically still am employing the 20%. On this account, it's take the 20% <coughs> um, gain or the 8% loss, and whichever comes first. Um, but I didn't, you know, I got a little lazy because it's a virtual account and I didn't take the 20% gain here on um, Applied Materials. And uh, I should just take the gain now on IPGP and look for other places to put the cash, other best companies. Like so, I'm, I'm normally in this uh, in this strategy. I don't jump in the company unless it has like amazing earnings, like consistently. Um, I think T-Mobile though um, may have been a little bit of just playing around. Uh, although I think actually their earnings are really good. Uh, Light actually had a, a bad like one bad earning call, I think, recently, but it still generally was very good, so I jumped in on it. It's paid off, uh, as you can see here. But look, you know what's really great here is seeing a profile where all the numbers are positive, you know, all the profit is positive. So having proper buy points and whatnot is great because, and then cutting out your losers is great because your losers stop losing and they go away. And, you know, you don't concern yourself with, you know, making back one or two percent on your losers. Instead, you concern yourself with making 10 percent again uh, or making 10 percent or 20 percent on a new position. So uh, this account, um, I'm a little disappointed, actually, because I try to pick the very best picks and it doesn't, you know, yield me the best uh, results. Um, so uh, that's why the the what I realized from picking or having the stock account Amura 3, um, the one where I buy high and look for just good performance and good earnings, uh, that account is outperforming all my other accounts by so much that it really shows me that although it's important to have good earnings and whatnot, uh, buying you know high and looking for proper bases and whatnot has you know another value to it that's that's greater than just good earnings or the great the greatest of earnings so you know that's what I learned from it and in, in real life uh, that actually has helped me make a lot more um, I I mean I in my my uh, what's it called my real accounts I'm at 35 35 percent gain for well, actually 40 I think 40 percent gain or depends how you count I, I think 35 percent gain to 40 percent gain um, from uh, what they call a December actually no that's from starting from February I'm at a 40% gain starting from from December I am probably at like a 60% gain so you know my strategy in real life is doing well I wish it was doing as well as a more three but you know it's picking up now it's, it's if you look in the last like three months it is accelerating to a point where it's growing faster than a more three so that's really good news see if I can keep that up anyway let's move on to the next account this is the worst account on World 5. Let's let's check it out. <coughs> let's log in. So this account, I just listened to um, um, a website that gives stock suggestions and, um, and where to buy them and when. And although I believe in this website's tactics and whatnot, it, it just does not work, right? It, it just has not worked. This account is the only account that's negative. And it might look like I'm doing fantastic because I have 5,000 here and 8,500 here in, in profits. But that's after having listened to the website for so long and doing so poor and then deciding in just the last couple of weeks here to, you know, try a, a good strategy and try to recover the account. So I, I'm, I gave up on the website. I don't want to employ that anymore. Now I'm going to try to employ the Amora 3 strategy on this account. And instead of uh, splitting up my, um, the difference is, um, instead of splitting up my um, 
my purchases into like five or six or seven even, which I think is too many, I'm going to focus, I'm going to toss in a lot of cash on just a couple and see if I can, um, you know, get really huge gains. And actually in the last like, <clears throat> in the last, what, three weeks, I went from, or okay, last month and a half, I went from minus 20% on this account and then employing the, um, the uh, strategy of Amora 3 with bigger, uh, bigger, uh, you know, uh, positions and I went from minus 20% to positive 10%, you know, at one point, which is almost S&P returns in that, in this entire time. So I went, I was employing this crappy strategy for all this time. And then right here, I'm like, okay, um, you know, maybe, maybe it was even right here, honestly, you know, I may have been here and then my strategy, you know, you know, had it dipped down a little and then I took off. But point is, I decided to uh, employ a good strategy, okay, a winning strategy, and look what, how, how it turned my account around. So I'm going to try to get this account to perform uh, really well here in the future. But the point of this learning on this, the point of this account is just don't listen to other websites. Listen to yourself. Come up with your own strategies and ideas that you know work, right? So anyway, uh, you guys can look up all my accounts, all five of them. It's just Amora and then Amora 2, 3, 4, and 5. And you can just jump, you can just, you can go to this website, Stock Views, and you can look at all the trades I've done. And you'll find that the most successful account, Amora 3, doesn't have that many trades. Like, it's not like I'm trading every day or, do, or two days. Like, most of the time, I'm just being patient. And I'm looking at them and saying, you know what, it's time to, it's time to just get pretty and hold on to the, hold on to the stock. Anyway, um, I don't want to make this video too long. It's getting really long, but check out these accounts. You'll learn a lot. Uh, I've learned a lot from from having them, and I'd say the the biggest lesson. I'll make I'll make another video on the the like five biggest lessons I learned um, using virtual accounts. Uh, so look out for that video to come soon, hopefully. Anyway, other than that, peace out, and subscribe if you liked it, and like if you liked it. And uh, <coughs> let's get some, let's get rich together.